In this lesson, we're going to configure an LACP ether channel or port channel between two switches. You would never normally configure a port channel this way in production with a single link. It's always a best practice to implement a port channel with an even number of links, two or more. In this case, we're in the lab and we're just trying to show the functionality, so we're going to go ahead and do that. The procedures we're going to follow are we're going to log into the switch, we're going to enter the configuration for Ethernet port 1 slash 25, we're going to configure the port as a switch port, then we're going to configure the port to be part of a channel group or a port channel. We're then going to enter the interface configuration for the port channel and configure the port channel as a trunk. Finally, we're going to enter the no shutdown command and do some show commands on the switches to show you the health of the port channel. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already logged in to my Nexus 5548. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my global configuration mode. Now I'm going to go into my individual interface configuration. Now that I'm under the individual interface, I'm going to make sure it's set up as a switch port. The next configuration I'm going to make is put this in a channel group. By typing channel group and a number, this number is locally significant, I'm going to pick 100. I'm saying that I want this to be part of an ether channel. Afterwards, I type the word mode. If I type a question mark here, you'll see that I have three choices. Two of the choices will tell the switch that I want to use LACP, and that's if I choose active or passive. If you remember from previous lessons, if I choose active, then this switch will try to actively negotiate a port channel or an ether channel. If I choose passive, it will not actively try to negotiate, but wait for another switch to try to actively negotiate with it. Now if I choose on, this means that I do not want to use the LACP protocol and then I am manually configuring this port for trunking. In this case, I do want to use the LACP protocol, so I am going to change it to active. Now that I have done that, this port is set up to use port channel 100. The next thing I need to do is actually configure that port channel. On the switch, there is a virtual instance of that port channel with the number that I assigned it. So if I configure interface port channel 100, I am now going in and changing the configuration for any ports that are part of this port channel or channel group. In this case, I want to make sure that it's set to a switch port and that the switch port mode is trunking. By default, it's going to trunk all VLANs across this. From here, I'm going to go ahead and go over to my other switch and do the exact same thing. I'm already in my configure terminal or the global configuration on this switch, so I'm going to change to my interface E1 slash 25, which is how I abbreviate Ethernet. And I'm going to type switch port and then make this a part of channel group 100 mode active. Now if you remember there's three ways that a port channel will be negotiated with LACP. That's if both sides are configured for active, if one side is configured for active, and the other is passive, and vice versa. Now that I've configured this to be part of channel group 100, I need to go underneath the interface port channel 100 and configure that interface. When I create the port channel, I can no longer manipulate the individual interfaces. I have to do all the configurations underneath the port channel. 
going to change it to a switch port. I'm going to say switch port mode trunking. And I'm all set there. So now that I have both sides configured, I can go no shutdown and enable the port channel. So let's take a look and see how my port channel is doing. The command that I would type in order to view the health of my port channel would be show port dash channel summary. Here I can see that I have a port channel 100 which is what I configured and it is saying that it is a switched port and that is up and the member port is 1 slash 25 and I'm using my protocol of LACP. Let's do the same thing on this side. Once again, I figured this was the case because I got good information from the other side, but on this side, our port channel is configured as 100. It's a switched port, it's up, and it's using LACP. Now I can type my show interface trunk again and I can see that my port channel 100 is listed under spanning tree forwarding and the VLANs that are spanning tree forwarding state and not pruned are my VLANs 1 and 999 which carry my data so everything is good there I can also do a show interface brief and I will see my port channel listed under the port channel links. In this case, once again, I can see that the type is Ethernet, the mode is trunk, status is up, and I'm running LACP. Let's see what happens if I change my port channel to passive on both sides. So in order to do that, I need to go back under my interface 1 slash 25 and I need to say no channel group 100 and then I need to change this to channel group one hundred mode passive. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Interface E1 slash twenty five for interface Ethernet 1 slash 25, no channel group, disable my command. I'm going to re-enable my command, channel group 100. This time, both sides are passive. Now, if I show interface port channel 100, I should see that my port channel is down and that there are no operational members. If I do show port channel summary, here I can see port channel 100, it's a switch port, but it's down. This port channel will never come up because both sides are marked as passive. If I go back into my interface, E1 slash 25, and I change this back to active on one side, I bet my port channel will come up. my show port channel summary and my port channel is back up. So as you can see there are certain parameters that need to be in place for LACP to be able to negotiate a port channel. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Please join me for the next lesson configuring virtual port channels.